Now, did you know that in the year, um, in the 1600s, there was a, a rabbi by the name of um, Sabbatai Zeti. I, well, let me get this right here, sorry. Yeah, yeah Zebi. Sabbatai Zebi. Did you know? Sabbatai Zebi. All right. And basically, Sabbatai Zebi was a was a Kabbalist um, in the 1600s who believed that he was the Jewish Messiah promise. Okay? The Jewish Messiah promise. And that's some very interesting teachings. You can go and look it up. Look, you know, look up what they were about. Now, about a, say about a century later, after um, Zeti, uh, Zeb, Zebi, excuse me, had passed, you had another person I seen by the name of Jacob Frank. Now, Jacob Frank believed to be believed himself to be the reincarnation of Sabbatai um, Zebi. All right. Now, very interesting the beliefs of uh, their, their belief system. Okay. Now I have a book here, and based on for copyright reasons, I can't put this book out. All right. Um, once we get the the permission from the author, then we'll be able to then add the the, the, script, the, the name of the book. To the description, but for now we won't be able to do it. But very interesting book and very interesting information that you can actually want to look up. You can actually find this out there on Google or you know what have you. All right. Now, Jacob Frank formed the religion, or they're known as the Frankists. Okay, and I'm gonna read read a little excerpt from this book here. And it says the Frankists believe that in the Masonic age, the laws of the Torah were no longer valid. Now, very key to note that. Sabbatai Zebi believed that he was the Messiah promise. Sabbatai Zebi, I want to get that name correct. He believed he was the Messiah promise. So they believe that in the age of the Messiah, the laws of the Torah don't matter no more. Does that sound familiar to anybody? The laws of the Torah doesn't matter anymore. I read it again. The Frankists believe that in the Messianic age, the laws of the Torah were no longer valid. And all that had been formally prohibited were now permitted. So whatever the Bible says, thou shall not, they, you know, that's done away with. Think about it. What does that sound like? It says here, I read it again. The Frankists believe that in the Masonic, the, the, Mes um, the, the Masonic age, talking about the Messiah, the laws of the Torah were no longer valid. And all that had been formally prohibited were now permitted or even mandatory. This includes all prohibited sexual unions and incest. Therefore, the practices which included orgiastic sexual promiscuous rites led the Jewish community to brand them as heretics. So they, because of what they were coming with, it was that it was heretical amongst even the Jewish circles. All right. Let me jump down here some more. It says here, Frank preached a religious myth of nihilism. Ultimately, Frank taught his followers that the overthrow and destruction of society was the only thing that could save mankind. So they believe that society, with all its morals, with all its, with all its standards, should be overthrown. Sounds familiar? I'll keep reading. It says this, despite the fact that they were all outwardly religious, because why? When you, start, when, you, when, when you study it, Sabbatai Zevi um, converted into Islam under the Ottoman Empire to, to escape um, being, being, being killed. Um, his prophet at the time, Prophet Nathan, went, became, a, became a Catholic, a Catholic priest. Now, what it is that they do? They go into, the, in, into like religions and they appear to be, you know, of a religious nature but the undertone of what they believe in is very 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 different from holding any more any moral beliefs as as a religion would, would put forth okay let me keep reading some more here it says despite the fact that they were outwardly religious the frankists sought the, the, the excuse me the annihilation of every religion and positive system of belief and they dreamed of a general revolution that would sweep away the past in a single stroke so that the world might be rebuilt. Of the revolutionary philosophy of the Frankists, Jeshurun Sholom wrote in the Kabbalah and its symbolism for Frank 
anarchic destruction represented all the Luciferian radiance, all the positive tone and, and, and overtones of the world life. Now check this out. It says Jacob Frank prom, um, prom, promulgated his nihilist religion as a way to Esau or Edom. Hmm. According to Frank, all the great patriarchs had sought the way to the Most High, the way to God, but without success. It was therefore necessary to find a new way, which nature unbridled by law. In order to achieve this goal, it would be necessary to abolish all laws. Hmm. So we said we'll start this, um, this, this program here as history times. All right. Did you know you need to go and you know check check out some of these um beliefs, some of these tenants, some of you know, and look at where it's coming from. Okay, let's keep reading here. The last two two part two lines of the paragraph. It says here, in order to achieve this goal, it was necessary to abolish all laws, but to be accomplished in secret, as the true believers are already. Passed through Judaism and Islam, they are now also to assume the religion of Edom or Christianity. Outwardly, using it to conceal the real core of their belief of Jacob Frank and the true Messiah. Excuse me. Using its core belief to and this core belief to conceal the real core of their belief of Jacob Frank as the true Messiah and living God. So you see when sometimes we, see, we, we, we encounter that the laws are done away with and, and you know, it doesn't matter anymore and all of that stuff. That has an origin. Okay? There's an origin in it. The Frankists or the Sabbatians, as some as they were called before, this is the true core of their belief, of their of their religious system. It's to finish away with God's laws and create their own rule and establish themselves as the Messiah. Did you know that? All right. Um, hey, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Tell us what you think. All right. Bless you. Have a good week. Stay prayed up and sin not. Until we meet again, most I will. Shalom.